This is Matthew Campagna from theturninggate.net, and this is the first in a series of video tutorials in which I'm going to walk you through how to create various types of web galleries using TTG High Slide Gallery Pro. Now much of what you're going to see in these videos will also apply to the standard edition TTG High Slide Gallery, as well as to other TTG web engines. So even if you're not using the High Slide Pro engine, uh, it's still worthwhile to watch these videos as there's going to be a lot of valuable information in them. So we begin in the web module uh, looking at the Lightroom HTML gallery because this is what you're normally going to see when you bring a new collection of images over to the web portion of the application. Um, what I like to do is work with a small group of images. Uh, this allows the web preview to load a lot faster. So as you can see I've selected five images in my film strip already and I'm going to set use to selected photos. And then I'm going to come over here to the engine list and I'm going to select TTG High Slide Gallery Pro. Now this is going to take a moment to render so we'll wait for it. And when it first comes up what we're going to see is this uh, licensing agreement for High Slide. Uh, so read this, uh, make your peace with it, and when you're ready to move on bring down the site info pane. Now the very first checkbox is I have read and agree to the high slide licensing agreement. So we check that and the agreement will go away and we will be allowed to move on through to keep working. Uh, the next checkbox, Windows Safe Mode, we are not going to talk about in this video, but uh, it's a troubleshooting measure if you need to use it. There's documentation on my website. Uh, only a minority of Windows users will actually need to deal with that. So the first uh, section of controls we really come to is info for TTG Auto Index. Now if you're using the TTG Auto Index or TTG Pages web engines, uh, then you're going to have a gallery index. And if we look at a gallery index, this one is already published to the web, each one of these boxes is a, uh, an image gallery, is representative of an image gallery. So as you can see, we have a thumbnail we have an album title, and we have a short description of what's in the album for each. Uh, now, the thumbnail is selected at random from images, uh, thumbnail images with the gallery, so we don't need to worry about that right now. And then the album title and album description we set here. Album title, album description. So, you know, name it whatever you want to name this gallery. Maybe this is Car Shoot. Uh, and the album description, uh, test shoot of a Nissan, I think this was a G5, I don't remember, uh, in San Diego. Um, now for the thumbnail, we can leave this blank and that will enable the default behavior so that uh, a thumbnail is randomly selected every time you visit the gallery index. Or we can specify uh, one particular image to always be used. And the way we would do that, well, again, if we want random, leave it blank. If you want one specific image, uh, you can select it in your thumbnail or in your film strip. So maybe I'm going to make this second one here uh, my primary selection. And then I'm going to type in the path to that thumbnail relative to the gallery root. Now, that usually means that we're going to write thumbnails forward slash and then the image name, which we can see in the film strip. So this is underscore mg underscore 7346 edit, and it's dot tiff in the film strip, but when everything goes to the web, it's going to be dot jpeg, so jpg. And that's all we do there. Um, so the info for auto index is set. We're going to move down the line. Uh, the next thing that's up is page settings. Now the character set for English speakers, uh, UTF-8 is the default and that will usually suffice. For uh, non-Western character sets you can choose one of these other ones if you're having trouble displaying special characters or Asian characters. Uh, then one of these choices will be better used for you. The HTML title uh, is very important for search engines and also, it is what displays in the title bar of your browser, which is up here. Uh, and this should be something descriptive of your business, uh, maybe your location, and some keywords that describe the type of work you do. So, if this were for my photography business, I would call this Matthew Campagna Photography, uh, Dallas, Texas, because that's where I'm located right now. 
And then I might put in some keywords describing the type of work that I do. Portraiture, still life, landscape, commercial, and so on. Uh, the last section we're going to cover in this video is the meta tags in the head. And these are also used for search engine optimization. Um, they're not as useful for search engines as they used to be, but they can still help. So for author, you would put in your name. For description, you would put in either a couple of sentences or a paragraph about your photography business or about this specific gallery. So I might write a test shoot of a Nissan G5 in San Diego, California. And then for keywords, uh, just a list of comma-separated keywords describing uh, your gallery would do. So this one would be car, Nissan, Nissan G5, maybe I want to put in San Diego, uh, Chula Vista, which is the town outside of San Diego where I actually did this, California, car photography, and so on. So that wraps it up for this video. In the next uh, video, we will start tackling some of the more visual changes you can make to the gallery. Thanks.